Welcome back to the Trauma Team walkthrough series. In our last video, we put the pieces together for forensics. Now let's jump into some heart-pounding action with first response. As a first responder, your job is to provide on-scene trauma care with the goal of stabilizing patients so they can be transported to a hospital. You will need to juggle multiple patients, switching your attentions back and forth and treating victims' injuries until they're all stable. You will be playing as the dynamic Dr. Maria Torres. As a doctor for Resurgum First Care, her quick thinking and inner strength have made her a natural paramedic. As always, you'll be using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Be sure to properly secure your Wii Remote using the wrist strap and remote jacket. The simpler tool selection means that you'll be expected to be quicker on your feet in choosing the appropriate tool for the situation. The antibiotic gel and stabilizer are used in much the same way as in the surgery portions of the game. Likewise, the forceps are used to remove foreign objects from a patient's body. But you won't be able to suture a wound closed outside of the sterile environment of an operating room. Instead, you'll deal with lacerations by packing them with absorbent gauze, then taping over the wound. First response also requires more situational tools than surgery. Unlike the usual set of tools that you select with the nunchucks analog stick, these tools pop up as icons when they are needed, and you choose them by clicking the icon. Situational tools may include scissors for cutting the patient's clothing, an IV for blood transfusion, a splint to apply to a broken limb, and bandages to keep the IV or splint in place. A talk icon may also appear from time to time when patients want to tell you something important. You may have to employ a number of special techniques to keep your patients alive. Chest compression will be necessary to maintain a patient's heartbeat, and intubation clears a patient's airway to ensure they can continue breathing. All the patients you're currently working on are shown on the upper area of the screen, and you can see a patient's general status by looking at the tags. If a patient is green, it's probably safe to leave them alone for a few moments and take care of someone else. If a patient's tag is down to red, you'd better turn your attention to that person before it's too late. For the first time in the Trauma Center series, a patient's death isn't always an immediate cause for an operation failure. There's a certain number of acceptable losses in each of Maria's stages, but a truly skilled doctor, or the player portraying her, won't have that problem. That about ties up the basics of first response. Don't miss our look at the final Trauma Team specialty, Diagnosis. Look for Trauma Team on May 18, 2010, exclusively for Wii.